Okay guys, I'm excited. Today, Flow Drawlic is coming out here all the way from Ontario. They are the ones that Theron went to go visit that assembled all the high voltage uh, components into our headache rack. They've been working really hard with us for the last year and a half on all the engineering that goes into this truck. And they're coming out here to help push us through to make sure that we can hit that show in two, three weeks time is number one, find out if it's possible. We think it is, and they're gonna help push us across that finish line. What are we doing right now? Oh, uh, we're just lifting the generator. We're gonna put it onto the transmission jacket and slide it, it under the frame rail so we can get the adapter plate mounted on tomorrow when it arrives. Be a tire guy and do this all the time. This is in the jam, Tan. What? Hard. Harder. Harder. On the button. Front end in. Pivot. Pivot. Okay, we got good. Chase, we got we got to come forward. Yeah, yeah. He's going to fall off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just watch your hands because that wheel, that wheel's acting. Yeah. It's not made for all this weight. Okay, now let's use let's use the bar and skid this front end over. Wow, that was awesome. This thing looks cool in here. Here, let me press the camera. This is actually really cool seeing the generator finally under the truck. Tomorrow the adapter plate comes in to actually mount it. Fingers crossed. Don't promise me on that we've had nothing but trouble but it should be and with any good luck good lord willing and the creeks don't rise this thing will be mounted tomorrow or in a month in fact we're going to connect 580 volts you know of electricity well that's not my that's job not to connect this but don't scare me yeah me and dan are feeling real we we, our job, like the jobs that scare me the most yeah. is this yeah. is the mechanical things that's yeah. the jobs that we have to do this well, and the, the, scare me. And the actual and connection, we have the 10,000 volt gloves, all the PPE. Everybody here is really experienced, knows how to work around high voltage. That I'm not worried. That's just connecting the thing to the thing. The worrying this, part is when we first do all of the contactors, turn everything on, that we don't blow something up because we have it in the wrong we have to When we first turn the key or whatever, we got to have fire extinguishers and people shut up. Smell. Yeah, Steve knows what he's doing for that, and Chris knows what he's doing. We'll have a few people. And when they when they first turn them contactors on, I'm gonna go inside and have a coffee. Chase, see ya. Steve, hey, Drew, Chase, and Michael. Good nice to meet, meet ya. ya. Oh yeah, hello. Looking good. Yeah, the axles look great. I'm guessing you guys have done a ton of work in the last couple of days because when I last watched a video it was not this far along. No. You must have flown through it the last couple. These guys have been just putting over the last four days I've put in so much overtime and so many extra hours that it's been insane. We really were. We had not a single wire ran, not a single thing hooked up three four days ago. And then Chris said he wanted all the can bus and all the axle stuff ran so we Pulled a bunch of 14, 16 hour days and got it all hooked Knock up. Knock around, huh? Yeah. Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays, Sundays. It's 
what you do in crunch time. There's like a bunch of new team members here um, that I would love for us to just kind of introduce ourselves. Why don't you introduce yourself here? I will start. My name is Steve Hogg. I am the controls designer for Flow, and I am probably the electrical brains behind a lot of this work. PDU is my baby. Done a lot of that work in the last couple years, and I've written a lot of the safety software on this as well. So making sure that it starts up safe, high volts are just constantly monitored, maintenance can be performed safely, this is my domain. So if I get electrocuted, it's his fault. Yes. <laughs> no, that'd be on me, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Chase, you guys know me. Everyone, everyone. Yeah, okay. knows you. Hi, <laughs> we actually get a lot of people that don't know your name on YouTube. Like, that's what's the your Edison name? guy. Yeah, this, yeah. So that's Chase, Chase Barber, and uh, he's the CEO of Edison Motors. I'm, I'm Raymond. Edison. I'm one of the directors. I also build the stuff. I'm working on the Kulo lines. I do some fab work. Uh, pretty much whatever he tells me to do, I figure out a way to get it done. Except for high voltage. I, I yeah. I sat myself too many times on 120. I ain't doing it on this. It's fine. It's only 560. <laughs> Wait one person to talk about high voltage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm Drew. I'm the industrial electrician with Flow. Um, I essentially build whatever Steve gives me. Obviously, I'm the high voltage specialist, so that's why I'm, I'm here. So no one else pulls themselves up. Awesome. Cool. I was going to do it safely. Yeah. I have all the equipment. Make a change. You do. <laughs> We're going to teach you all how to. Please. Do some of this too. Yes, yes please. Yeah. please. Yeah. That is part of the expectations for sure. Yeah. Michael? Uh, Michael, I'm a developer at Flowdraulic. Um, I've got some low voltage experience, but my specialty is programming. So I do all the microcontroller work, the uh, display and screens, and uh, my specialty is definitely communication and um, CAN bus and all that stuff. So I do all the uh, bits and bytes, but not a lot of the wiring. Michael's the guy in the flow draw video who managed to not say a word the whole time. <laughs> so there's a nice like zoom in on my face. That's it. Yeah. That's and I like that. That's good. It was good. I'm John Cole. I'm a volunteer. Um, I'm up from the States because I'm a big believer in the project. And I'm everything mechanical, electrical, uh, former nuclear engineer and chemist support ballistic missile submarines. Does it say that last part a little louder and one more time? <laughs> the starting at the nuclear something and ballistic missiles or former, submarines? Former nuclear engineer and chemist aboard ballistic missile submarines. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's actually really good. <laughs> and uh, you found us on YouTube, right? Is that how? And then you reached out and asked to come yes. and help when you're camped out in Chase's driveway for yes. three weeks till the show. Yes. Now that's a fan. Yeah. And that is a supporter. Yeah. 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 John's the man. Uh, I'm Zach. I'm the team's uh, mechatronics and robotics intern. Uh, I've been here for the whole summer working on the truck and the mostly the low voltage signals and then with SEI and their DC battery stuff. Kind of my right. area. So most of you know me. Uh, I'm Nigel. Uh, I work for Flowdraulic. I am uh, the salesperson for Editron uh, with the electrification stuff and for Edison Motors. Um, yeah, I'm kind of here helping out and doing all that good stuff for you guys. His background is working on drilling rigs too. So oh, all sorts of stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. He's got a fairly good mechanical background. I'm Kevin, doing a master's in nuclear engineering, and uh, I I did mechatronics as my undergrad as well, and I uh, do uh, HV systems and battery management on our F, uh, FSAE team, Ontario Tech Racing, and so yeah, assembling some of Steve's work here. And how are you here? How'd you find us? Through YouTube, uh, similar to John. And you volunteered to come up because you support the project and you're giving your free time and helping out around the shop. Indeed. That's awesome. It's not free. We're hooking up. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> at least uh, free beer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, my name is Eric. Thanks so much for coming out. So I'm the founder, uh, co-founder of Medicine um, and just you know, all things electrical. And I'm having tons of fun with the project and really appreciate all your help. Yeah, we're going to get it done. Uh, I'm Dan the Mechanic. Um, I'm... The mechanic, I guess, or at least a mechanic. Uh, I have a professional schooling, one year of uh, heavy-duty trades, and about seven years combined automotive and heavy-duty um, in shops and my own backyard. Did my first engine swap when I was eight and a Ford. That was fun. Um, but most of the time, I've just done professional shops with uh, Chevrolet, um, Gardner GM, and uh, Snap-on. I worked for them for a little bit. Nice. Um, I have done... Three years in a quarry, 
and I have a lot of industrial, electrical, and mechanical et, um, no, knowledge. Uh, I've never worked in the mill, but uh, I've heard a few stories and kind of understand how the high voltage of that works, and translating it to kind of how the voltage of this truck works. Yeah. Good. And who's this? Dude, that hates being on camera. Oh, <laughs> I'm Dean Chase's dad. I'm the janitor. <laughs> look at <laughs> if anyone if anyone looks around. Look at, look at this floor. Come back. Dean's been got got this floor in in uh, sh shop shape. Yeah, ship, no, ship shop, shop shape. shape. Ship shop shape. Yeah. Well, well, let's. Dean's yeah, a machinist on. and a millwright. The guy's a genius. Machinist is a humble man. Oh, yeah, see, he's right away. Now we're going Spinner can. Um, he's actually a millwright, machinist, and welder for the last forty years. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or he's he's, he's a guy that uh, handles all the welding, fabrication, and uh, <laughs> he just hates being on camera. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> he's already <laughs> leaving the shop. He did his piece. He's gone. He's back to the house. Yeah. He, just, he went over there to punch the clock. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, next sort of stage of like, thanks everyone for like the introductions. Um, we thought we'd talk now and just start at the front of the truck, talk about systems, uh, jumping in with some problems that we see or things that we need to do on those various systems. Steve, does that sound reasonable to you? Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Something. Uh, we need front fog lights on here. We need the hood panels dropped in, uh, handles on it. We got to get the top part of the hood brought down. We need louvers for the air breather. Coming down, we need the air breather. We need the power steering hooked up. We need the coolant lines ran for the EV system. Steve will talk about that on if we need more cooling or not. We need the fan belts and motor hooked up. Uh, we need the control module here. We have some guys coming in tomorrow that are engine generator experts that are going to focus on doing the thing, so we're not going to worry about that too much. We need the rest of our lights all hooked up up front. Uh, coming back here, we need the front brakes hooked up. Uh, we got to do a little bit of servicing, check all our steering linkage, do a little bit of testing on that. Uh, we do have all the steering components hooked up now. Coming back, big job, mounting the generator, adapter plate, getting that bolted up. We'll then fabricate up a cross member. We can run all of the high voltage lines for the generator. We might as well just connect those so we have lots of room to work back there. As soon as that's connected, literally as soon as that's connected, we're going to drop the batteries into the frame rails. One, two, three, four. We're then once we get those in there, we're going to slide on these boxes, two, three, four, five. The rest of the batteries. Up to, up to eight. Yes, the other eight on the side steps here. The drive axle inverters are going to go right here for their little control computers. We're just going to put that right on top under here. I need to finish connecting the airline from cab to there so I can do an air systems check. Probably another few hours. We need to put in the windshield washer reservoir, uh, LCD displays, we need to run the, all the controls, all the computers, get that ran, get it where that needs to go. We gotta put the steering wheel on, we gotta put the seat in, put a headliner in, sound system. Sound system? If we have time. There, there's a, what we're doing here too is we're calling things for what do we need to make it to the show and what do we need as optional things. Yeah. And so to start back here, externally come back out of the cab, once we have these batteries on, we'll put the cover on, then we're going to fabricate up the fenders, front fenders, get that done, rest of the hood cowling on, rest of the lights. Coming back, we need to hook up, get a leveling valve on the cab height, and get our cab airline plumbed in so that our cab can ride independently without these wooden blocks. Coming back, we got to hook the batteries up, put some other stuff in there. Uh, fuel tanks, run the fuel tanks, fuel lift pump, rest of the batteries in here, shocks, everything. Air compressor ran, air compressor hooked up. Uh, I gotta run a few more, get the air dryer on, air dryer mounted. And the back end from here, back as far as I'm concerned, is all done. From where I'm standing here, everything is good. Cool, cool. So. I'm also going to get to gear oil in those things tomorrow. I'm picking up gear oh, oil. Oh, we tank. have gear oil. Yeah. We need to put gear oil in there. Yeah. Steve, you better run through on the electric side what you want to have done and what you, for the electrical. Well, uh, on the high voltage side, we have to make all these connections into the power distribution unit. We need to run all the cables between all the different battery sections. It's two different sets of four 
that are in parallel, but the four in series. Run all that in, it's all distributed inside, that wiring's all done. It needs to run to all the different, uh, all the different HP devices. So we've got DC-DC, we've got a three-in-one DC-DC slash power steering slash air compressor. All the low voltage control, especially CAN bus wiring, we need to make sure that's all done. There is a total of six separate CAN buses on this truck. So we have to make sure those are run to minimize noise because electric vehicles are very, very challenging to minimize noise electrically. So we need to do that. Lots of cab wiring I think still needs to be done, including the computers up in there. I think the computers Play in screens. there is really amazing. A little bit of that. Once we've got all that hooked up, then we start doing a low voltage startup eventually where we just worry about turning things on, no high voltage whatsoever, high voltage comes after, and then we start working towards the fun part of really turning this into a truck. We very well could do five volts. You could probably get away with four volts or even three feet with that lighting. Like, yeah, so, um. I'm not sure about our guys. No one can say that Edison is not a progressive company. 